Welcome, Loopies, back to another exciting episode of Portal. I haven't touched this game in a couple of days, and I think this is exactly where I was at. Um, I hope so. I don't want to feel silly. Hmm. Yeah. Let me go ahead and check before I actually start recording. That would suck. Okay, yeah, this is exactly where we're at. So you guys did request that I turn on subtitles in case I don't have the sound just quite right. So I did turn on subtitles so you'll be able to hear it if uh, if it, I have it too low. So, um, <clears throat> also, I haven't recorded this in a while, but I do have a new uploading schedule. Um, Portal will be uploaded every other day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's negative 7 GMT. Uh, and that'll, that'll, um... That'll go out with our other uh, Minecraft series every other day, like I said. So right now it's hardcore, and then once I finish hardcore, maybe I'll start another completely different game, or maybe another Minecraft series. But uh, who knows? That way I only have so many series going on at once, and I will be more tempted to finish them than to uh, leave them going. Um, let me go ahead and check the sound real quick, just to make sure. And that looks like it should be alright. Now it might be a little low, but it'll be fine, because they're subtitles. <coughs> So, uh, because I haven't played in a while, I have no idea where I need to go. Um, oh, let's go back up. Oh, I wish there was a sprint button on this. There is not, unfortunately, no. So it looks like I need to get to there. Let me get there. Let's place that portal here. And drop down. Now, this isn't where I came from, I'm sure. It looks like I do need to come this way. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. No hand-holding. Cool. So if you guys do not know yet, I have gotten a partnership with TGN, and uh, a little bit of surprise, but I may become a director. So go ahead, and uh, when I tell you, go ahead and subscribe to TGN. Maybe you'll start seeing me on there. I'll be getting stupid dog. <laughs> My next door neighbor's dog barks all the time. Don't know if you guys could actually hear it. But yeah, I'll be able to uh, all right, let's record for them. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion <clears throat> gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> That's sad. All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go right there. So here's a button. Oh, it looks like a cube actually comes out right there. So let's, uh... Whoop! There we go. What? There it is. I got it. Okay. Oh, I should be able to just drop this here. Get back across. The oh, lab am boys I gonna make just it? informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre recorded messages. <laughs> I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. You gotta love the humor in this game. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoy the subtitles. If not, sorry that they bug you. <laughs> so uh we need to get across there, and it looks like there is not a direct way across. There we go. Oh, that'll wipe out my portal. Is there a way this way? Okay, so the game sort of kind of didn't crash. It did. Yeah, it, it definitely crashed. I don't know what was up with that. Sometimes this game just crashes on me. Just randomly. don't know why, and then I can do the same thing again. So, uh, yeah. It looks like we need to either go this way or the other way. Not sure. Let's just head this way first. Closer. Looks like we need to go this way. Why not? Yeah, nice little room here. You guys said to try to find all the Easter eggs. I have no idea where they are. Uh, if I come across one, I'll show it to you guys, though. <clears throat> I have not played well, this, this game test, yet, we so. Put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that, too. Huh? I have tumors now. 
Okay, sorry about that dog. So let's just get this here. Oh, don't. Okay. So it looks like we need to get back to there. Let's just jump with the cube. Alright, it looks like. Okay, guys, the game crashed again. Sorry about that. I worked my way back into where we were anyways. So it looks like I need to go through a portal and drop down onto this gel here. So let's just kind of uh, hop down. With the gel. Oh, there we go. Huh, okay, so it looks like... Oh, this will this will be fun. Uh oh, don't want to fall there. Let's just keep going. Just go all the way back. Cool. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. I'm stuck. <clears throat> Here we go. Wink. All right, cool. Another In test chamber now. down. Repulsion gel. Here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down <laughs> what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this: it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. That's not good. Not good at all. Got my monster here ready for a couple hours of recording. Taking care of a bunch of recording today. I recorded my mod let's play, my uh, Technic pack let's play, my hardcore, and now this. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say <laughs> the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. <laughs> what? Um, okay, so it looks like. Can I get one there? Doesn't look like I can. How am I gonna do this? Oh, there we go. <clears> How <throat> to get to that? Oh, there we go. Good, good, good. Okay, so it looks like now. Um, no, oh, there we go. There we go. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Get it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Huh. I think I gotta get that gel to here. So it's uh, the portal there. Oop. There we are. I'm getting covered in propulsion gel. Oh god. I'm gonna die. Boink. Oops. Let's put one here, too. All right. So it looks like now I need a portal here. And a portal there. <clears throat> okay, so where were we? We were, uh, yes, yes. Okay, gel over there. 
So now we need to uh, somehow get to that. Oh, I see how it'll work. Perfectly how it would work. There we go. Oh, wait. No, don't want to go yet. No. Okay, this is what we're going to have to do. There. Okay, that won't work. Let's get back over there, though. Bam. Bam. Let's get right there. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, God, we're flying. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. That's not good. Why tell me that then? Oh god, my frontal lobe is hardening. Ah, monster. Sponsor! Okay. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you forgot it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Looks like, um... This button... What am I? What am I doing? <clears throat> we have to hit that button. Oh, I see. I see. Blue there. Orange there. Blue there. Lands. And you jump up and hit it. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, perfect timing. So we got like three or four minutes left on this. Keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice: if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time entirely, forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Whoops. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to put a portal here, drop down into the blue one, bounce out, bounce out, and we're good. We're good, good, good. Okay, so this one, looks like I can uh, pop that there, no, how about there, that work, pop down, Wee. Can I get a one up there? Guess not. Where do I need to go? Let's get back down here. Put that there. Drop down into one. <clears throat> Um, don't see a way. There's got to be a way. Propulsion gel? Oh, propulsion gel. Okay. Let's drop down here and come over here. So this is going to be our last test chamber for the day. Right there. Let's let that splatter. Flying through the air. Alright. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and end it up here, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to leave your comments, and bye-bye.